Okay, let me try this again. Um, okay, it looks like everything works. Testing. Okay, the mic works. All right, good morning. Uh, I'm just, I was just doing my usual, uh, perusing the uh, Final Fantasy Lodestone forums, and found another, and found another good question. Uh, from Zenji. Why are you still playing this game? Um, I actually did a, I did a video on this about a week or two ago about roughly the same thing. I think that one there was called Why Do I, Why Do I Like Final Fantasy XIV? But this one here is a, it's a kind of a different spin on the same question. So I thought I'd just go ahead and take, take a crack at it. Uh, but like, like I always do, I'm, I'll just go down the page and just comment on all the questions and whatnot. And like before, I don't, and I'm not, I'm not trying to put anybody in the spotlight or anything. I'm not trying to call them out or anything. Just, um, again, it's, it's a lot easier for me to communicate this just by speaking into a microphone and having to, than having to be Jethro Bodie and uh, Beverly Hillbillies trying to type it up. Let's get started. This isn't a troll thread, right? I wonder what this is all about. The extra slashes before before an apostrophe. It's got to be something. Um, it's the word I'm looking for. Ah, screw it, screw it. It's probably something mechanical, for lack of a better word. Oh, this isn't a troll thread or anything, and I don't see... Hey. And it... Despite the fact that... Despite the fact that you actually say, yeah, I know if some people are going to come at me, they're going to come at you anyway, whether you want them to or not. So, it's kind of a good waste of a sentence. And again... We're the ones that decide whether or not your threat is going to be a troll threat or not. Not you. Why are you still playing this game? Um, there's probably... I'm seeing there's going to be a lot more questions and a lot more stuff uh, involved. But the short answer, one, level sync. Two, crafting. And to a lesser extent, gathering. But there's absolutely no challenging content. Ah! Uh-uh. That you then you're must you're must be doing end game stuff where uh where I haven't really checked the numbers on it, but uh if it's anything like Heaven's Word, the eye level sink on the dungeons and whatnot is too generous. If if there's one that even exists. So that's the only time that this is gonna matter. Uh I think if you want a challenge, try crafting gear that's uh several levels above your above the uh, current gear you have and that uh, you're gonna find you're gonna go through numerous nail biters on there it's like you're you're facing off with rng right there you got the percentage chance you got the percentages staring at you right in the face you know you know i've done everything you know i've exhausted everything i could and it's all only an 80 percent chance of your item becoming an hq item those are some serious nail biters that are you know, should I try to improve the quality one more time, or should I just craft the item? You know, that kind of thing. So everything is handed out to you. Um, yeah, I've heard, I've heard that before. It, it, usually, it sounds to me like I think those that say this are probably already at the top. They probably already have it so damn easy. They've probably forgotten what it was like when they were struggling when they first started playing the game. I, mean, I sure as hell wasn't saying. I sure as hell wasn't saying this when I started. I mean, I was complaining almost every step of the way about what a pain in the ass, it, what a pain in the ass a lot of the stuff is. Um, as far as everything handed out to me, nope. You still, you still got to go out there and quest. You still got to go out there and craft. You got to go out there and gather the gear. I mean, or 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 you can um. You can uh, make do with just two stinking retainers 
that you're gonna have to you know you're gonna have to bust your butt you're gonna have to bust their butt to get them leveled up get them geared up to get the so they can go out and get the mats that you need or get the stuff they mean need excuse me you know so it's not you know it's, you're not getting you're not get you're not getting high level 330 gear just for logging in or anything that I never understand that I've never excuse me I've never understood that I'm trying to think and talk at the same time not really working Uh, furthermore, any challenging content is just a harder. Yeah, and? I mean, uh, even. I mean, hell, even. Even a game like chess is like that. You know, board games. I mean, you're. Weird as it might sound, you know. You play, you know, you're, the grandmaster that you're playing is just a harder version of an existing, existing player. If that makes any sense at all, you know, I mean, I, in a weird way, the the game you're playing now, the chess game you're playing now, is just a harder version of, you know, of the easy player that you're playing. Again. I'm, yeah, I'm having trouble connecting at all, but yeah, I, I'm hoping you get the idea of what I'm saying. Sure, there it is. When you're playing chess, the same chess analogy. You want to, you know, you want to challenge yourself, so you, you always want to play a better that's better than you. You always want to play a player that's better than you are. That's where the challenge comes from. There's not much of a challenge when you, when you just play a brain dead monkey or something. Uh, gearing up to clear what content exactly? I'm primarily a, a dungeon and trial person as far as actual raids i'm i'm not a real big fan of it back when i played in wild the few times that the very few times i actually tried raiding i just i couldn't get into it i don't have the patience i'm a one wipe kind of person especially when uh you royally get your butt handed to you by the boss or encounter or whatever i mean it sounds like he might as just break off because we got more fundamental things to work on like I've never had it happen, but if it did, like if we uh we tried raiding, we got our butts kicked on the very very first encounter. I mean, I've, we probably got a lot more a lot more to work on, you know, than just you know on a fundamental level than just because our gear our gear wasn't enough. Oh, and I guess that was uh, only part of a sentence. You're gearing up to clear what content exactly the next patch cycles content or crap cycles content where crafting gear makes previous BIS irrelevant. I huh? Kind of made me feel like a dumb, made me feel like a dumb blonde. Like I don't get it. I'll, I'll just move on. Since two two, but now that I'm not writing anymore, I don't know how people are still playing. Like I said before, um, I'm I'm not a raider, but yet I still play the game anyway. There's probably because there's other things in that game that keep me interested. I mean, raiding to me, raiding is not the end all be all of, of any MMO. I was like that with WoW too. That in fact, that was probably one of the biggest mistakes that uh, Blizzard made in that game. They made raiding the end all be all the entire the entire thing it was all it was all centered around it you were, you know you, you know if you just if you just want to continue running dungeons you're considered that was considered a bad thing and you know rating was the whole sum of your whole existence which, which I don't that never been my play style What's the motivation? Uh, well, one motivation I have is uh, tanking, even though, even though I haven't really tanked a dungeon in a very long time. But that was one. That's one of my motivations. That and uh, that and crafting. In this game here, crafting is as much a challenge as can be as much of a challenge as uh, running a dungeon. You know, like I said, it, it, 
the crafting system in this game isn't like WoW where you just run to it, you just click an anvil and you type down how many of whatever item you want to make. You type down a hundred, you type down ninety nine, and you just you just set on your button until they're all made. Not in this game. You can do it, but it you're punished pretty severely for doing so. You only do that for like you know, like if you're making glamour prisms or something, you know, something low level. Hang on. My thumb's twitching right now, so I'm having a hard time moving the mouse. What am I doing that actually matters? Uh, now that that question got raised, um, one of my other favorite things to do in this game is running fates. Not very popular, not very popular amongst most people I know, but it, I think it's really freaking cool to, to see like one guy down there trying to kill monsters and probably struggling in the process. Me diving in there, or me switching a tank slash healers, healer spec, diving on in there and saving his behind, and you're, you know, trying to help him out of that little jam that he's in, you know, and then maybe getting, hey, thanks, man, and maybe bowing courteously towards me and something like that afterwards, and off we go. That I freaking love stuff. I love doing stuff like that. Just, I guess, in all the way looking at it, random, the potential for random acts of kindness in here. Cousin, wow. Um, I gotta rack my brain a little bit, but I don't recall, I don't re recall having this kind of feeling when playing WoW, where open world content, for the most part, everybody just solo stuff. Nobody really. That was, that was it. That was a. That's a. That's a corollary of all. WoW doesn't have a level sync. So, you can, I mean, even even when you're merely leveling in that game, you're still pretty, you're st still pretty OP in the zone you're trying to do the quest in. You're not going to need any backup. In uh, this game, however, even the fates are level synced. So, yeah, you're synced down to the, whatever level the monsters are. You're going to be struggling trying to kill them things. It's a great potential for a random acts of kindness from other people. So, to answer that question. And the same also goes for uh, running dungeons and trials. And, yeah, running dungeons and trials. I'm not sure about raids, but. Same thing here. Everybody's level gets synced down. Um, I'm gonna have, I would have to say, too, that except for the end game content, at least the Heaven's Ward stuff, that. Everybody grossly outgeared that stuff. The level 50, 60 dungeons. I mean, you're I, you're not going to matter as much in there. The other people can pretty much solo the stuff without you. They're wild dungeons. But as far as the level lane content, where level sync is a lot tighter, a lot stricter, I mean, yeah, I'm going to matter a lot more in places like that. Because they really can't do it without you. By the way, before I get to you, because it's fun response. <sighs> Is this guy using Linux? I've never used it before, but... It's like you got the slashes before every single quote. Like, it's just like clockwork. What, what the hell kind of computer does this guy got? Uh, moving, moving right along. By the way, before I get the because it's fun response, yeah, I know it's fun the first time and all fun for grinding it in. Same thing over and over again without any more rewards. At least. Sense of accomplishment is no bueno. I don't know what no bueno is, but maybe maybe the grinding to get something and all this might actually be fun. Like like I it's like I said earlier it's like I said earlier, you know. With the with the level sync, I can actually matter now. You know, I, in this game here, you know, like I said earlier, I can jump in and save some guy's bacon because his level's been sinked down. He ain't going to be able to kill him. You know, he's watching his health just going dropping off. And, I mean, and I've seen that. I've done that on numerous occasions, too. You start seeing the player running away because his health's so low. I fly in. I fly in as a tank, probably, and just pull him out to me. And I'll see you just see him doing a ball face and come back in and start helping me kill him all. I mean, I'm... I've seen that happen several times. So, I mean, stuff like that to me is my idea of fun. Um, you know, I even even if it's grinding, even if it's doing the same thing over and over, it's still fun. I 
yet, but uh, unlike WoW, where there was a level thing didn't exist, everybody can out, out gear or whatever it is they're running by as many as 100 high levels. You know, me trying to hold aggro on a dungeon, because I don't out gear the stuff by much. I'm not a raider, so I'm trying to hold aggro around amongst all these uh, raid geared players that keep pulling aggro off me. It's not my idea of fun. Nor is, uh, nor is me pulling the first group of monsters and having them, oh man, we can sell all this stuff naked. We're raid geared. Let's just pull for the tank. <laughs> or trying to pull monsters to me or whatnot, or just sell the stuff themselves. Everybody going off on their own. That's not my idea of fun either. So that, I guess, kind of like cholesterol. Kind of a weird analogy, but you got, you got good cholesterol that actually that actually helps your body, then you got bad cholesterol that hurts your body. It, <laughs> kind of a weird analogy, but you know, grinding's kind of the same thing. You got good grinding, you got bad grinding. You got the kind of grinding that you enjoy doing, then you got the bad grinding, the one where the one in WoW where I'm forced to run dungeons because there's there you know there's no other content around that gets the kind of rewards that you can get from running a dungeon but it means I have to run with a bunch of raid geared bastards that are going to treat me like a figurehead so it but um, after all this I'll just go right out go right on down the pages page or excuse me page or pages if I happen to get that far. Okay, uh, I'm gonna highlight this part of me still plays with the escape from reality. Um it kinda with kinda with with me. Um I I almost play I almost play in two MMOs. <laughs> well kind of a weird, wild, wacky sort of way. Um I work the graveyard shift, so um, I basically I'm not a people person, so I'm basically working with a bunch of other people who also aren't people persons. So you're basically forced to work together. It a lot of animosity tends to develop. It creates kind of a toxic community. It's it's there, it's there, but it, with a with less the the vile dialogue that you see in an MMO, no one's ever told me to delete my account and kill myself. No one's ever, no one's ever trolled me. But most of the time, that's done behind my back, you know, because they're we're nice people and all that. So, whereas in here, where out out there, at my at my job, I'm pretty quiet. I hardly talk to anybody. So this here is kind of my escape from reality. I can actually talk more. Um, I'm plus uh, I'm kind of a flip side. I tend to be more talkative in an MMO than I am in real life. Is um, whereas uh, in real life I tend to be, I tend to be uh, keep I tend to keep my distance from strangers. I'm you know I'm keep things close to the best. Whereas in the game in game I tend to be. <laughs> I tend to be more comfortable around them, so it's kind of a weird, weird dichotomy there, if that's the correct word to use. Party in place for the completionist in me, I kind of have that too. Um, I am at my core, despite my uh, recent screwing up. Uh, I I boosted a ninja to level sixty because I wanted to try him out. I actually enjoy him, but my plan was to get him. To at least as high as my tanks and uh, my healer were on level 65, but you know that was my plan. I'm a plan. I'm a plan-oriented person, but that went to crap because for logistical reasons. So now I, I had to scrap that project, <laughs> and now I gotta boost my dragoon. So that was for that ninja. That was twenty-five dollars. That was wasted. So I gotta write that off on research, and now I gotta boost the dragoon because logistically he basically shares the same kind of gear with my tanks because they all wear heavy armor they all they all wear uh, heavy mail and plate armor so they, it's more uh, logistics friendly uh, plus his, his the, I think his, uh, his main stat is strength 
So he shares gear with the monk and a uh, monk and samurai. Two other classes I enjoy playing. So I kind of I kind of said this in my one of my early blog, one of my previous blog posts too. But, but I don't. As far as completionists goes, in my mind, you don't have to complete 100% of the entirety of the whole game in order for it to count as a completionist. Uh, you just just having a goal in mind and trying to achieve it is good enough for me. Part to stay in touch with. I don't. I don't really have any friends in this game. Except like the ones in the FT and uh, the few visitors that come by when I stream. Um, and this, and I'm I'm in game and in real life I'm not like this either. Like I said, I'm kind of skittish around strangers, and in this game here I don't actively seek out new buddies to hang out with or anything like that. So, cause cat girls. <laughs> Ooh. High five, Renuko. Yeah. Gardening, I want to do that. It goes over my head, though. See my guild go up every day. <laughs> That's going to be true of just about anybody, even in real life. I don't, can't recall a single person I've ever met that said, I don't want money. In fact, I want to be poor the rest of my life. No. Um, one of these days, I want to get an apartment. But um, space is, there's like almost always no vacancy. I'm trying to get an apartment in Limsa, but everybody's holding on. Everybody's holding on to their apartments for dear life. Not a raider. Uh, it goes over my head. Not a fan. Level up balls. Nope. Nope. And this is one of this is also one of the reasons why I enjoy this game. Something I I think I said it in my last video, I can't remember. But this is also one of the reasons why I like why I keep playing this game. You can level everything on one guy. Unlike WoW where uh you you have to have one character can only have one class, and to make matters worse, as far as crafting classes go, you can only have two. You can uh, you can have a, uh, you can have fishing and first aid, and there's archaeology, but you, that's the way you do it. You know, not nothing real immersive, for lack of a better word. And yep. Going back down here. What's his name again? And yep, Zenji, he he basically said the same thing that I said. Uh, grinding is just like cholesterol. There's good grinding and there's bad grinding. There must be a lot of good grinding in here to him to, him, to keep on doing it over and over since 1.0. So... Um... I'd be a glamour person too, but I guess it's probably one drawback to this game is the damn fashion sense. They don't have freaking t-shirts. Like, you know, simple t-shirts. Like the one I'm wearing. Like, they everything they do has got to be freaking fancy. I mean, I kind of get why, you know, because it's the Final Fantasy universe, but I ain't... Come on, man. I mean, even in, even in something like Final Fantasy... Even in a universe like Final Fantasy, like, they don't have simple t-shirts. You know, it, it, it just boggles my mind. You know, I mean, I'm they, even, I mean, hell, even even cavemen back in the Stone Age, they had their own version of T-shirts. They just killed whatever they could kill and wore the skin over, you know, wore the skin over their bodies. That, to me, that that, that constitutes a T-shirt. I mean, they didn't, you know, they didn't. You know, they didn't wear the hide or whatever they kill, and then they didn't, they didn't like adorn it with intestines, and then have like, have like a gallbladder necklace or anything like that. They didn't get fancy. I mean, even, even they, even they kept it simple. I mean, 
can't see much reason why Final Fantasy didn't shouldn't have t-shirts in there. A first world problem, I know. Friends won't play anything else. And there's a lot of people in WoW that are like that too. They refuse to play any other MMO than um than WoW. And I now that I think about it, um I think the founding members in the FCI man, they're like that too. They've never played WoW, I don't recall, and I don't recall them ever playing any other MMO. They've only played Final Fantasy fourteen, maybe one of the earlier ones as well. Get the more of playing soul and wild and <laughs> forcing the issue for an old yeah, yeah it's a lost cause on I enjoy enough when it's not the only game I play um good call on that one I'm kind of like that too I although I don't I don't play other MMOs but um I'll play I play another game called pinball arcade even though I haven't played a while I'm about overdue for it, but anyway. But um, I do, uh, I do also enjoy playing idle games. I'm one of the weird ones, but not, I mean, not, not, not the, not the Zynga Facebook games where they're basically forcing you to pay money in order to speed things along. I don't, no, I like 100% pure, straight up, old school. I almost want to say cookie clicker. But they don't have a they don't have offline mode as far as I know unless they did an update recently. But I mean, freaking stuff like uh, Clicker Heroes. I used to be I used to be balls deep in that game. Um, what's another one? There was another one. I don't know the name. I can't remember the name of it. But uh, you can choose between factions. Uh, Angel faction, Elf faction, Undead faction, Demon faction. Um. Fairy faction. There are a bunch of these factions you can choose from, and you can hybrid them and stuff like that. I played the crap out of that one. That was an idol. I mean, that was another idol game I was really into. But I'm kind of an idol game junkie, but not the Facebook ones, as I said, stated before. So, but I agree with this though. This this game is a pretty fun game. Wait, wait. I just caught this. When I'm not married to the game, I feel like I'm constantly have to be playing it. Yup, it's nice to have an outlet. An outlet for an outlet. Reason I didn't do. Yep. Um, and this one thing, this is a probably another re another drawback to Final Fantasy. This game, it. I'm not big on the story. I've said this in other. Uh, I've said this in other videos. But it, it, the dialogue reeks of Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand, if you've ever read it. Oh, God. Like, every character is like Captain Kirk. Like, one, one guy, constant Mortimer, blah, 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 blah. You know, okay, you're page after page after page. You find a section called Galt Speech. I swear, that's got to be at least 100 pages long, just him talking. Like, nobody has, there's no, I mean, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of small talk. But that book def desperately needed it. This game kind of needs it too. I mean, just the moment I see a cutscene skip, just the normal quest dialogue that don't have cutscenes. Sitting there, I'm either clicking or I'm hitting the controller button or whatever, just trying to get the damn thing over with. You know, just you point, I punch, man. kind of goes over my head. Yup. Yup, and Mr. Smokey here kind of said something else on that too. There's also a self-challenge factor to it. I, I forgot the OP's name, but there's also the self-challenge factor too. I mean, finding little, little goals of your own to achieve. So, he, so, at least in this sense, challenge is where you find it. It doesn't have to be rating, which I think is uh, probably uh, one of the reasons why I quit playing WoW. 
like I said, everybody was being funneled into raiding. I mean, I don't, I don't find raiding all, all that much fun. Constantly wiping over the same thing over and over, where I probably could have come to the same conclusion after the first wipe, guys. Huh? We just wiped on the first encounter, man. I got better things to do with my time than be doing this, man. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I'm. I don't understand what he was get what Rodig is getting at, but <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It came to me. I have heard of. I have heard the uh, troll threads. Okay, yeah, I remember me back in WoW. And uh, back when I played RuneScape as well, I have heard this from time to time. People just, sometimes they just stand around in town and complain about the game they're playing. RuneScape sucks. They should just give me gear for logging in. Just to annoy people. For no challenging content, I'm planning to yep, yep. She basically said what I said and what that other guy a few posts up was saying too. Challenge can be where you find it too. Like I said, I mean I've many a time I've uh I've tried to craft a higher level gear than what um what my equipped gear was capable of. It's not easy. Practically biting your nails, hoping the hell that you know the RNG gods take pity on your 75, 80 percent chance of a high of a high quality item. Uh, kind of nebulous addiction, but I do get what he means. Like I said before. Challenges where you find it. And next page. I'm BIS and I'm not a progression group. Neither am I, bud. I don't even play your current content very much, so there's quite a few encounters I've never seen, let alone cleared. Yep. Same thing. Yeah, I'm in a tight knit group. Oh, real life friends. Yeah, I don't have. I can't think of. I can think of maybe. Maybe two co workers of mine that might have played this game, but I don't know. I hardly. Like I said, I hardly talk at work, so. I just kind of keep to myself. But. In, in the um, FC that I'm in, um, this is probably about, I want to say roughly nine months ago, when I, when I went, or, about, about a year and a half ago, I had to do some calculations up here, about a year and a half ago when I first played this game, this is before uh, I started streaming it, but uh, in, the, in the FC that I was in, was pretty active. It was fairly tight knit. I mean, everybody was, everybody was buddies with everybody. We did a lot of things together, but once I took my nine month hiatus and came back, everybody pretty much pew, split. They got on to other things. So yeah, that was. But this was one of the things. This was at that time one of the things that uh, kept me playing playing this game. Yeah, so he's he's sort of kind of like me then. He likes to stop and smell the roses. I was like this in WoW too, that, now that I think about it. I was... The mad rush to max level is completely lost on me. You know, I'm, back then I was... Uh, when I, I think it was uh, 
starting in Kata, or Cataclysm, the Cataclysm expansion. I think there was one after, I don't remember what it was. But each expansion, I did all the quests in, the, in each zone. Uh, I basically got what was called the Lore Master achievement, where you achieved all the quests in that expansion. So that was, because I did, I, like I said, I don't like to rush. Especially, especially now we're uh, in the end game content. Everybody all gears the con. Everybody all gears the stuff now. Once you get to the end game, you know, right? You know, it's like I said before. Sound, sorry to sound like a broken record, but everybody all gears the dun Everybody all gears the lower, the lower, the lower tier content by as much as a hundred eye levels. That's quite a bit. They could sell all the stuff if they want to do. So uh, that's one of the reasons I like to take things slow. To me, uh, end game is end of the game. To me. Reason I'm out, we we are blockade and joining the remotely current without having to. I'm a filthy casual scrub. Ah, uh, I wouldn't say so. Uh, and as I could, the short version of this one, no, you're not a filthy casual scrub. But there, there's more to it. But I'm, I'm running out of time, and I'm starting to get tired. I'm going to lay down here soon. Okay, I could, I could agree with that too. There are just people who literally cannot fathom other people outside what they enjoy. Yeah, I like that too. I mean, again, like I said before, the mad rush to the end game, the headlong rush to the end game is just lost on me. You know, I guess in another sense, in another way of looking at it, you know, you're gonna, you know, you're, you're paying so much money every month for a subscription. You know, why not get your money's worth? You know, why not check everything out, not just head straight to rating? <laughs> another way of looking at it. Secret. Mm. Uh, okay. It, all right. It's starting. To, it's starting to look like an echo chamber. Yeah. Yep. Uh, fun is. I thought that said. I thought that said fun is being bad at first. Fun is being had. Yep. If we're still playing, it must be fun to some extent. And why are you still playing? I don't. I don't know if you can do it, but we should be. Uh, I don't know if you can actually. If you can actually do it, but if you can log uh, log on to his account and see if he's still playing or not. I mean, if he is, I mean, well, if you're complaining, <laughs> bye. I mean, I'm sure that a uh, subscription money you're spending every every month or whatever could probably use towards something else. I mean, if this game ain't fun for you anymore, sayonara. Okay, um, yeah, it, I pretty much said my piece on this whole thing, and it looks like, uh, it looks like it's just, I'm starting to see, uh, I'm starting to see, uh, people repeating. I'm starting to see an echo chamber. God, I need, I'll tell you what, I'll just go ahead and cut it off. I really need to lay down. Um, 
Thanks for watching and see you next time.